Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to go over a few important pieces of information about blocking out a character model for rigging and then later animation. So the first thing that we need to talk about before we even do any modeling stuff is um, just a quick few notes about saving out your character model sheet uh, from Photoshop or whatever other program you happen to be using. Um, and if you're, you know, if you're one of those people who, like me, I often do this too, you draw your sketch on paper, you're still going to want to scan it or take a good photo and clean it up in Photoshop. So there's almost never going to be a circumstance where you just are scanning or taking a picture of your drawing and then bringing that directly into Maya. So either way, this is going to apply. Now, right here, um, this is, uh, I have a side view and a front view of my character. And... Um, Right now, the one problem is that if I wanted to save these out as separate images, um, they don't have anything filling them in. They're just blank, uh, clear outlines because I drew them on a white background. Um, so if I wanted to save out my character uh, model sheet like this it's as two separate images, then I'd want to take a, a minute or two and create a new layer. I, of course, uh, didn't didn't really name these layers like you should uh if you're doing things properly, but we'll ignore that for now. Um, and really, before I save these out, I'm just going to quickly use my brush tool, or if you prefer just to use, you know, uh, a lasso tool or marquee select tool and select an area and then fill that in with white, then that's fine. Whatever. The whole point is just that we're trying to fill in underneath these lines so that um, when we export out our character, we can have the whole background of the image be transparent, yet the character itself will still have a solid interior color. So I'm just going to pause uh, the video, or maybe I'll just fast forward and um, finish this up. Alright, so um, at this point I have filled in the background of both of my characters um, and that means that I can save them out with a transparent background and still have them solid and filled in. Now it's worth noting that if you um, scanned in your drawing or took a photo of it, like I said earlier, um, you have two options. One is that you draw a, like new line work over top of your scanned drawing. If you have a tablet or something, that would um, be a good idea just to clean up the lines. If you do that, then you'll definitely want to fill in uh, paint underneath your line work like I just did here. And if you're not going to trace over your drawing from paper, then I would recommend um, cutting out, doing the opposite of this and actually cutting out the background um, because the less distractions you have while you're modeling your character, uh, the better. So um, I was going to save that. And um, the next thing that I'm going to do, I actually am going to need to merge these. Now, it's going to be uh, you want to be careful when you're doing this. So I'm going to hit Control J and duplicate those so I can merge the copies and not the original. I'll do the same thing with this one. Merge layers, um, because uh, what I the the next thing I'm going to do um, you can only save out one layer at a time. So uh, I'm going to go File, Export, Layers to Files, and I'm just going to put these on my desktop. And if you check on Visible Layers Only, and you also check on Trim Layers, then um, and you have it set to a PNG also, then um, it will only save out these two images perfectly cropped to where all the pixels are and with transparent background. So I'm just going to hit run. There we go. And now I have two images that look something like this. And that's going to be a little bit more intuitive uh, to use in um, 
Maya to model with. I'm not too sure if I how I feel about these white outlines. That's a bit odd, um, but we'll live. Anyway, um, so that's all I wanted to mention for Photoshop. And the next thing that we'll do is go into um, Maya. <laughs> we'll go. That's all I wanted to say for Photoshop. And the next thing we'll do is go into Maya and set these up.